Hello everybody, welcome to the video, my name is Midway and I hope you're having a wonderful day, I sure am. Today I'm here to check out the new content for The Legend of Mushroom. So now we got the Parking Wars, it just came out as well as a new dungeon that we'll check out right after. So we are now looking at the instructions for the Parking Wars. So basically, you're going to be able to park your mount on any of your uh, four slots, so each player has four slots. And then there's going to be a public parking option, which will yield higher returns. Probably you can get attacked, I'm assuming. Then after 8 hours, your rewards are capped. So that's uh, how many rewards you can just accumulate. And challenge you got the players uh, will uh, make their mount leave on the public parking. Uh, participating players share a portion of the parking earnings, right? So of course, I'm assuming this is my own parking. I got my mount parked right there. If I click on another parking spot, I can choose whether or not I can. Uh, I want to park any of my other mounts here and uh, I can get the next of uh, the following stuff, right? So we got some gold, we got the lamps, uh, we got a remodeling guide, which uh, increases the mount's remodeling level, gaining 2,000 remodel points. We'll check what that is. I have no idea. Then we got uh, a, a possibly a chrono key, okay, and we can get some clock winder. So that's going to speed up our upgrades on the mounts, finally. Uh, Divine hammer, of course, for the artifacts, and then we can get pets, uh, random red pets, okay. That is the possible rewards we can get, right? We get 15 XP, or rather 10, per, 10 XP per minute and 15 Ps, whatever that is so far, I don't know. Then of course the rewards change depending on what kind of mount you're parking, the higher tier mounts yield something better, random red skill, we can also access a soul crystal with this, we can get soul essence, that's pretty good, random key <clears throat> as well as uh, a random soul of a purple tier. Okay, so that is my own parking, then set parking fee, what is this? Current parking spot bonus. All right, let's read through this. Activating the parking fee, giving eligible players the option to choose whether to park when parking. Okay. The option to choose whether to pay when parking, of course, I read it badly. If you just pay the fee, the spot owner, the spot owner cannot plunder your mount. You can also choose the spot owner to guard it for you. The parking fee is automatically deducted upon entering your parking. So basically, other people can park in my spot and I can set it on and off. I can uh, only friends, family, family and friends, parking fee ratio. Okay, so I can make like other people can park here. For example, if I had uh, open spots, I'm not sure. So somebody else uh, parked in my spot, right? So I can kick him out. Who's this guy? Is uh, Lido. I cannot beat Lido, I'm sure. So he's just taking up a spot in my uh, backyard, whatever this is. Now, mount remodeling. Here is probably where we upgrade our stuff, right? So we got levels. Levels increase the bonuses we get. Okay, so one level increases the bonus by 8%. Then each mount has a bonus to them. So that's even stronger we're going to be getting from this. Uh, rewards maybe also change. I'm not sure. And then we, of course, can spend our remodeling guides to add some more XP. Okay, so that's that. We can choose to park. Then we can name our parking lot. Okay. Uh, we can decorate our parking lot. Do and uh, do decorations. Decorations do give bonuses. Okay, so you want to be unlocking this stuff, and uh, maybe you can have like multiple at a time, or unlocking either of them will give you the bonuses, but you can only equip one. I'm assuming. Uh, you got the defense. You got the scene. Scenes also do up, um, upgrade your bonuses. Uh, you got defense, and you got the street lamp as well as uh, coming soon. Okay. Right, so there's a shop as well. What is this? You can buy, okay, so you can use your P points, uh, parking coins, of course. Uh, you can use them to buy the remodeling guides to level up your mounts. You can choose it to buy an offline warp. They limit one. Okay, what is this? Instantly obtain one hour of offline rewards. All right. I mean, does this, that's a lot of points. One hour doesn't sound that much. Construction rush. Uh, Accelerate magic lamp tech and main or upgrades by 60 minutes each. Okay, is it like a consumable thing or... I'm assuming it is, but that's a lot of points. Uh, within 3 hours, 50% extra fruit offerings, so it's like a buff and then also a buff on the recharge on your pickaxes. You can buy the decorations, but they are really expensive. And there's a, th a limit of 30. Why would you buy that many? I guess you can upgrade them so they, the bonuses get bigger, right? That is what I'm assuming. And that's really all the decorations. You can buy consumable stuff and you can buy the decorations. So I'm assuming the decorations are going to be what you go for. Uh, for the most part, we'll see how many P points we can get. I like calling them P points, right? So we can find somebody else's uh, parking. We can go to somebody else and put our mount in their place. And then we can search for a public spots. And public spots have a big buff, right? So there's, um, there's five of them so far in my server. 
let me see what I can find out here. So there's uh, people that I can probably not kill, or maybe I can, I don't know. This guy, I have no idea who they are. This is, I cannot beat these guys. So can I try and find a different parking spot? Uh, search for a parking lot. You can just uh, be prompted to search randomly on other people's parking slots. There's a cross server spot. There's the friends parking slots. And then I'll, I'll just go to the public one and see what I can do here. This one's maxed out. Uh, can I kick some of these persons? Uh, I cannot kick that one. I cannot kick that one. I cannot kick that one, I think. So uh, I'll, I'll find one that I can kick for sure. Uh, I mean, I'd rather kick somebody if I can. Okay, let's, let's just uh, try and plunder this guy. So... Uh, what is this about? Oh, actually, I think it just bugged out. Evasion, Counter-Strike, nope. Uh, yeah, we'll just go back into it again. I think it bugged out, to be fair. It just put me back um, into my main menu, really. So, once again, uh, we can try and defeat this guy. Click Plunder. Okay, now the fight's actually starting, so let's see. What is gonna happen? We gotta do a lot of damage. Okay, obviously this guy is weaker than me, so I'm just gonna win some matter of time. Shouldn't take too long, and then we'll just uh, get some coins, and uh, we'll be parking our mount over there. Actually, we didn't. We just got prompted back to the parking, uh, public parking spot number one, right? So if we go to parking spot number five, he's no longer there. Uh, I can plunder people randomly just for the sake of getting their earnings, and I can also just try and place my mount over here. Now, a question that I had is, can I park? I cannot only park one in one spot in this public parking spot. Okay, can I do it in another public parking spot? Let's try and see if I can go ahead and find one that's empty. Can I defeat this person? Probably. Uh, I think I can defeat that one too. Okay, I can only park in one public parking slot, so that's it. Then I can return to my own place, and I can just park the other ones. Yeah, I can park that one, and that's it. I can only park one on each. So why wouldn't I set a fee, right? I, I mean, you could uh, you could just let people park here and get something out of it, right? Otherwise, they're going to be taking your spot, since you can only park one mount in your own parking. At, at least that's what I'm, I'm seeing. Can park, cannot park in more than one spot simultaneously. I guess I can try and go to a friend's parking st uh, spot. So we'll go to this guy and we'll just try and park something else over there. So let's park the next best mount. Uh, parking fee ratio 20%. Okay, so I don't want to pay it. So I'll, I guess I'll, I'll fight. I think I definitely missed something out of the, uh, the parking fee, right? So let me just read through it again. Uh, the option to choose to pay or not. If you choose to pay the fee, you can... Okay, so basically you cannot be kicked if you pay. Right, so I'll set it to 20, I guess. And uh, yeah, everybody can use it, right? So if somebody wants to be safe in my spot, they can pay a parking fee. Otherwise, uh, they gotta fight me, right? So um, that's really what it is. I mean, I can fight them, rather. As we saw, I parked on this guy's spot and I didn't have to fight them. So I'll try and find somebody else that I can... I can just park my own mount here, right? So I'll park the next best, the best one, and that's it. That's parked. And I'll try and find another one on somebody else. And I'll just park over there, right? Uh, I think there's no point in... Uh, can I park all my mounts? I think I'm maxed out. I got five so far. Maybe I'll, I'll try and just go and park another one. The last one. Might as well do so. Okay, so that's it. I can only park five mounts. Unless I'm already parked here, which I'm not. Okay, so that's it. I can only park five mounts. They're all stacking up rewards, so that's uh, pretty damn cool. And that's pretty much about it. Once you got some stuff out of this, you will be able to claim your rewards, and then you will be able to exchange them in the sub. So, uh, yeah, I mean, another way of PvPing. I got a log over here. So, yeah, that's basically my own attack. Uh, did I get attack or something? No, that's just the log telling me to check it out. Okay, so that is a decent enough system. I think it's just a, a little way of doing some extra PvP and trying to keep up with getting those rewards and stuff. I do quite enjoy it. Let's now check out what the uh, Dark Trials Archer... Okay, let's just read through this. Challenge Baron Trials daily. Defeat wicked enemies and reap bountiful rewards. Okay, let's just click on enter. Uh, challenge reward... Uh, for whatever those are feather coins just to enhance your back accessory feather level i think the back accessory is still not out maybe it is i don't know and then we got some we got a skill over here okay okay i don't know if this is the enemy i think it is right first clear reward okay let's just go ahead and challenge let's see what happens is this like a boss okay it's definitely not i just totally defeated it reset i can challenge it again okay 
let's just uh, demolish this guy. It's definitely entry level, so it's gonna be pretty damn easy, I'm assuming. I will probably be doing this for a little while since uh, it's uh, a low tier version of whatever this boss is. It's gonna take no time to die. Okay, so now he's maxed out. He's like 1 4 stage, so it's probably gonna go to stage 2, whatever. Highest difficulty reached. Okay, today's trial difficulty cap is 1, so that's it. Um, we can reset it and do it again, right? Okay, I'm assuming why not, right? We already defeated everything today, so we can just do it again. We are obviously strong enough for everything today, so I guess we'll just reap those rewards. But I'm assuming, if I'm not wrong, that we cannot yet use this item that we're getting as a reward. Let's just check out after I defeated it two more times. Actually, yeah, two more times now, and that should be all the possible defeats that I got on this guy today. Obviously, yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna be able to defeat this guy at least today. Okay, so that's it. Uh, today's challenge difficulty limit is the highest difficulty 5 star boss defeated plus 1. Your highest difficulty today, or your highest difficulty is 3 5. Today's limit will be 4 5. Okay. This challenge difficulty limit resets if you break your record on the same day and one refresh. Um, highest difficulty reached, your highest difficulty is determined by the highest star level boss you defeated. After reaching difficulty 3 or higher, you can quickly clear the star level of highest difficulty. Okay, so you can sweep. And the highest difficulty of all three trials is difficulty 10 5 stars. Okay, so we just got everything. Um, reset attempts one. We, we okay, that's like bugged out or something. I don't know because we already finished that up completely. So, can we even use this? It seems so. Okay, so we can actually do so. We got the back accessories now. All right, so what can we do with this? We got 72 of those. Um, feather level one, raccoon, tr raccoon tail. That's what I got now. Wolf tail. Okay, unlocks after when all feathers reach level 20. Level so, okay, level 20, level 60, level 120, that's it. That we got no more so far. We got talents. What does this even use? Okay, this is this uses a different type of uh, coin. So that's a divine for the coins. And there's an archery tray, uh, an archery tree. Defense boost. Okay, so that's the first thing we can get. What about fury? Do we get all like the same defense boost? Def it seems like none of them are changing besides the last ones, right? So what's like this one? Healing amount increased. Sorcery. Stun increased. Healing increased. Okay. Okay, there's other stuff over here though. Okay, I didn't see those. So what about this stuff? Is it changing? Every two seconds combo damage increased by an extra? Okay. What about this one? Every three seconds crit damage increased by... Okay, those, are, those two are the go-to. Fury, of course, this one also changed. And this one increases after 15 seconds. It increases attack speed. And over here, increase uh, after HP falls below 20%, you get a big bunch of other stats. All right, so I'm assuming all these other nodes also, some of these nodes change. Uh, for example, for Archer, this one's going to be healing amount. For Sorcery, this one's going to be stun duration. All right, so this definitely changes everything. It, it, it expands it, it just adds talent trees to your classes. Can you reset this, though? Uh, reset talents. Okay, so you can. All right, so, I mean, I'm assuming I'm just going to go with base attack, right? I'm an archer. I want to have more attack. I'm just going to be able to do that right there. Base attack increased. Now, everything else is locked. Unlock up on reaching level 1 in the final talent of the activated talent branch. Okay, so I can no longer go that way. I can increase this. And can I do anything else? Uh, no, I need to be level 10 on this. So I can increase it twice more. And that's it. I'm just getting extra attack for now. Eventually, I'll be able to choose whether I go this way, I'm assuming. Base defense or base HP. Right, so there will be choices here. There will be builds. That is insane. I'm, I really like this. And I can just reset it for free so far. I'm assuming it will eventually be capped. Morph. Okay, so there is also skins here. At the start of battle, each basic attack raises defense by 0.5%. Stackable 40 times. Upon reaching maximum stacks, gain 10% attack boost. That is really damn strong. Uh, after the battle begins, each releasing of an active skill increases the skill damage. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, mage. Um, just about it. After the battle begins, each combo increases the combo damage. Stacking up to 60 times. That is insane. And this one is for counter. So you got mage, archer, and warrior. And then, like, uh, an option for everybody. I mean, which one's better? 
10% attack is a lot, but obviously this combo damage increase is insane, right? It's gonna be like 30%. So, yeah, but this also increases the defense, right? So what is it gonna be? How do we even get this, right? Insufficient items. That's about it. I don't get any more information. I'll probably go just... Uh, give me a second. I'll click on this guy. And I also got the stage upgrade. But I'll click on the... What's it called? Usually we find this on the rush shop, right? It's not here. So I don't know where that's going to be, but we'll figure it out. It's probably going to be events, and obviously you're going to be able to buy that somehow. Uh, but yeah, we'll just go back here. Okay, so we can choose to increase our base attack, base HP, and base defense. And we got to reach all feathers level 20 to uh, unlock the uh, tail. So uh, quick refine is probably going to use everything. So we'll just use one... To, okay, let's just click quick refine and see what happens. Oh, okay, it's just gonna immediately level it up. It's probably gonna be, you know, eventually it will be more than one. Yeah, it's two now. Okay. I mean, can I get them all to 20? Probably not today. So I'll just get this one to 20. Can I even upgrade it more now? Okay, I can. It still allows me to. But I unlock the tail at level 20. So does unlocking the tail do anything to me? Uh, collect all feathers uh, to boost an extra plus one level for each feather. Okay, so once I get them all, I get a plus one level for each feather. All right. So I can, like, increase the level of the feathers somehow. But one level, like, they, they have 120 levels. That doesn't sound too much. I'm probably understanding this wrong somehow. Obviously, I don't think this is going to... Yeah, it doesn't seem like the actual equipping of the tail gives any boost. Um, it's just that it changes appearance, but there's definitely this leveling stuff that I'm not understanding too well so far But yeah level 20 here. I'll, I think I mean I probably should go for this But now this is five of those items to increase the base attack. Oh, oh wow that increases by a lot though Holy shit. Okay, that's that's definitely a step up um, But what about this? I mean, I, I'd rather get them all to 20 see what happens just to check it out I cannot do it today. So I'll probably just uh, upgrade this a little bit once there's like a there's like breakpoints where the increase is insane right at this point it's like okay i'm done but like it, it goes from like 60 to 120 in like two or three levels so that's insane we'll level them all up to 20 and see what happens just uh, in case i don't see an option to reset it so you can probably not really make a build it's really all a matter just to get them all to max level but you probably want to level up your attack first anyways right so yeah I think that's really about it. Uh, there's no more. I, I should try and find where you can get these morph options, but I'm assuming this is going to be from some events and definitely uh, having to maybe pay or really prepare yourself. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Now, if you haven't done so yet, check it out. Uh, check out Aptoid. It's going to be giving you from a 10% all the way up to a 35% discount on further purchase. The way this works is that whenever you are making a purchase within the Legend of Mushroom or on a, any other mobile game, uh, the Aptcoins wallet, which is the way you pay when uh, playing through Aptoid, and let me just uh, do this so you can show some screen. There we go. It's going to be allowing you to pay with whatever bonuses you have accumulated. So when you make a purchase, you get a bonus of that amount from 10% to 35% of a bonus. That bonus is in the form of Aptcoins credits, and you can use the credits in order to uh yeah to make the payment for you really if you wanted to buy this uh since i have enough credits now i could just use the credits instead of my actual money to make the payments for me really so basically i'm getting a discount in further purchases i mentioned in purchases that i do afterwards whenever i make a purchase now if i do it with my own money instead i would be getting the bonus in this case of 0 0.08 because well that's the bonus that i have unlocked right now you can also unlock a higher bonus of a flat five percent from the get-go just by using my code which is going to be down in the description or also on the screen you can use it on the AppCoins wallet and unlock that extra bonus and of course this bonus scales up the more purchases you do as well as if there is any active events within the app coins wallet really so all this stuff and how to set it up is going to be down in the description check it out there's a guide down there it takes no more than five minutes you can use it on your android phone as well as on an emulator on your pc and that's really about it hopefully you enjoyed that if you do use app to let me know down the in the comment section definitely better value for your money no drawbacks really it's all about the just uh, yeah better value for your own money and it also helps me out so yeah if you got any questions drop them down in the comment section as well and i'll see you in the next video like subscribe and yeah, see ya.